Uh, Jacqueline, where do you stand on this? Well, I actually did watch the debate. I understand uh, James didn't watch it, but I spent... I did watch it for about two hours. I watched the entire debate. And there was this one mention of one word, which was in part of a context of a, a whole sentence. I thought she was excellent uh, during the debate. There was obviously many, many questions from all sides of the House. Um, and the reality is that this distraction to focus on one word, which wasn't even said in a derogatory manner, I have to say, not at all, uh, and I'm not being biased about it, but for the first time, for a long time, she was in front of the House of Commons, she was in the House of Commons, and she spelled out just how difficult and uh, this situation is and how it cannot be tolerated uh, any longer. Um, and the reality is what we're basically focusing on is not asylum seekers that have come from Iraq or Syria uh, or Hong Kong or Afghanistan or Ukraine, the situation in Ukraine now. We have a very, very uh, welcoming record in this country, as you, as you rightly say, from your, your, your grandparents and, uh, and people before them. And my parents, too, had come from another country, from my, my, my mother's family. And um, what we're talking about now, it's about illegal immigration. I was on a cruise a few years ago and we stopped in Albania. You can go on the internet now and you can book a holiday with British Airways or many, many tour operators to go to Albania. There is nothing wrong with Albania. And anybody that lives in Albania can come to this country with their passport and they can certainly come and visit. The people who are in these, well, now the size of these... Um, tiny dinghies, they're now nearly as big as the QE2 now, uh, wherever they're getting them from. The people coming there, all these young men between about 18 and 35 from Albania have no justification at all to come in across the channel. Why would they? Germany and I think it's Sweden, you can't claim asylum if you're Al Albanian in those countries because there's no justification to be claiming, trying to claim asylum if you are Albanian. And this boils down to people who are involved in drugs. Um, this isn't young families escaping from something. And um, so there's no reason and justification at all for them to be coming over. And now, as you've said, it's now 1% to 2% of males in that age group from Albania. Well, it's just not acceptable. We don't know who they are. We don't know really where they're coming from or what they've been doing. What we do know, there are gangs that have been set up across this country. They're opening uh, barber shops and sweet stalls and things like that, but there are no people in there. So we know that there's clearly um, drugs and various other things. There's people trafficking involved in this, and we have to get a grip on it. And